MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Tune, what are you doing here on this machine at the event? Um, well, I'm working for uh, the solid milling company within Seco Tools, uh, located in Lotham, the Netherlands. We are responsible for uh, manufacturing, research and development and marketing of salt milling cutters in the Seco world. Okay, so what's actually happening on this machine and what are you trying to do? Reduce cycle times? Oh yeah, yeah. And cycle time reductions is uh, of course a hot topic. Uh, what we do is we sell solutions, we don't sell products. We would like to be our customers to be more efficient, more competitive. And uh, we do that nowadays with cycle time reductions up to 60, 70%. Uh, we call it advanced roughing, which is a combination of, uh, let, let's say, advanced roughing tool paths. Uh, we have we know different uh, tool path uh, suppliers. We have Waveform, Hypermax, uh, Volumil, uh, where you control arc of contact, where you have efficient efficient tool path cycles. Um, well, if an engineer was watching this, he'd think 60 to 70 percent off of the roughing cycle. But what what sort of material are we talking about? What sort of component does? There must, it must vary. Uh, we see it in mold and dye, we see it in aerospace, we see it in general engineering. Uh, cavity machining, where you can apply large depths of cut. So you're doing deeper cuts? We do deeper cuts, but it also depends on diameter. So it's always um, AP to DC ratio. So the depth of cut doesn't have to be that big. Uh, you can also use, for example, smaller diameters, and that will reduce tool costs. Okay, does, does the machine tool matter? You've got a great machine here with the DMG Mori, but you know, it, it, can this be the case on any machine tool? Um, yeah, it can be applied on almost all machine tools. I mean, I go to Asia quite often, we run it there as well. We run it on all the machines, on newer machines. The only thing is you need to program externally, so you need to invest in CAM. So there's lots of factors involved in this advanced rough-in cycle. Yeah. Uh, it, there's tooling, there's machine tool, there's CAD CAM. How much of a percentage is the tooling and importance? So the cutting tool itself, is it in the integral part of the solution? Yeah, it, it definitely is important. Uh, what we do see is that you can apply this strategy with all tooling, but we have specific tooling, specific developed for these kind of strategies with chip splitters, with uh, tapered cores for stability, with modified tip shapes so that we can apply helical interpolation much faster than more conventional traditional tools, uh, specific coatings and stuff. And, so, and, and how much interest is this creating in the marketplace? I mean, is this a research and development project or is it actually being used in engineers factories today? Um, it's, it's used in massive production plants uh, already years back. We started in 2012 this, this journey. We have uh, two fantastic colleagues in Sweden who came up with a great idea to put chip splitters in a long tool because they were already collaborating with a CAM supplier. And so this 60-70% isn't a myth, it's reality. You've actually seen oh, for it. Sure, for sure. I mean, some people talk about 10-20% 20, 20 cycle time reductions. We talk about 60-70%. So if we've got engineers out there in the mold and dye industry, machining difficult parts, cavities, there is an opportunity yeah. with Seco to really get a massive reduction in your cycle time. Yeah, for sure. Here in the UK we see applications in titanium, structural parts for aerospace, uh, aer big aerospace parts, uh, where we reduce cycle times as well with 60-70% in titanium. So solid titanium uh, work pieces uh, and we turn more than 90% into chips. Is, has this been turning heads this, uh, today at the show, this demo? We do it already for two, three years, but we keep pushing it. We have new tools that came out in September, new Jabro tools from Seco, uh, dedicated to those kind of strategies. So uh, I think a lot of fun to show. And the Jabro tool, that is the, that's the tool that you're using here on this demonstration? Yeah, we use uh, two new geometries. We call it the 564 and the 565. Universal advanced roughing tools, new features, um, even better than the former ones, which we call the 2C and the 3C. And then we have a titanium application where we show our new 720. It's a six flute rougher and it's a fantastic tool. You can run it with 40% engagement, six flutes, brilliant. I think what's exciting is you talk about 60 to 70% cycle time saving. Yeah. You've been developing this over years. Where are you going to be in two years time? 80% cycle time savings? Who knows? 
Well, let's see. Why not?